All right, how's it going, everybody? We're over here in Lake Orion, Michigan, with a wonderful, wonderful guy who we've had on the podcast, Michael Hasso, and we're in front of one of his flips right now that they literally just got done doing. It was a heavy, heavy rehab, and it's actually pending, so if you're trying to buy it, no thanks, it's not happening. It's pending sale. They've already had the inspection. It's going through, so... Um, so we wanted to come through and kind of interview him a little bit about, hey, this is, you know, how how did he get the deal as far as, you know, uh, as, yeah, how did he get the deal? And then the reason why the seller was selling, you know, sometimes they they sell and, and you know, so we're kind of kind of go over here a little bit, talk about that. We're going to we're going to see the inside. And we're going to see the beautiful job that he, that him and his team put together. I'll tell you, I walked through it already. Beautiful. Um, and then, you know, coming from a flipper's, uh, you know, investor standpoint, like sometimes there are things that we do that we just want to leave up to the homeowners as well because they want to put their own little style on it and, and kind of go from there. And it also, you know, makes it less cost for us investors as well. So we'll talk a little bit about that. So, uh, with that nice introduction, how's it going, Michael? Hey, Randy. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. So, tell me a little bit about this deal. Uh, how did you find the deal? How did you get it? And uh, so, we'll start off there. Yeah. So, this one, we actually found through a realtor. It was um, this realtor knew somebody who was, uh, I think they were listing the property, um, and they they were having trouble selling it and stuff like that so we just came out took a look at it and actually i should say not this property we took a look at the property next door and what what ended up happening was we put together a package deal um we bought both of them cash for them and yeah i mean it it was just it was really i would say a good situation for the seller because they had two properties it was a probate situation so it's like you know we talk about motivation all the time and it's like um you know for these heirs because somebody had somebody had died and left them these properties and frankly it was a huge rehab for both of them um and so you know just to be able to be standing here with this done uh and knowing that a homeowner's about to go into this property they're they're about to like move in yeah that's like that's really huge that's a big job. That's awesome. And, you know, a lot of these people who inherit these properties, I will say they don't have the funds. They don't have the money. And a lot of them, they don't really want to rehab them. They just want to be like, I want to clean it up or I just want to get my stuff that I want out and I, I want somebody else to take on this hassle. So yeah. um, it, it was that sounds about right with the situation. Yeah, absolutely. And you know what else? Like... I'll just say part of the reason why I'm here doing this, why I'm, you know, telling everyone I can that I'm buying properties, I pay cash, I know you're doing the same thing, is because even as good as it worked out for the for these sellers, for these heirs, um, you know, it would have been even better for them if they were able to come to somebody like me or you directly. Yeah. Because they could have saved on, on so much in fees and closing costs and mm-hmm. all of that. Uh, you know, and we're out, we're out here to help people. Yep. And so, you know, it's like, that's the name of the game is just, you know, we're out here telling people what we're doing. We're providing a great product, a nice home in a nice neighborhood, um, a great place for people to live, raise their kids, that sort of thing. Yeah, I know. I 100% agree with that. And with, we are not here to force anybody to do anything to sell their home or anything like that. We're here to provide solutions. And, you know, sometimes they don't even know we exist until a realtor comes in. Uh, so sometimes we have to deal with realtors. Even as a wholesaler, I don't like dealing with realtors sometimes. Um, I only really like dealing with realtors who know how to work a good deal. 
and there was not a lot of them out there. So, um, so I'm glad that you were able to work with a, a an agent that actually knows what they're doing, yeah. um, and you know, kind of go from there. So, and the good thing is, is and if I have this right, because they brought you the deal, you're actually now listening with them on the back end as well, right? Yep, that's correct. Okay. That's awesome. And, you know, so for all you agents out there, it works to work with investors because guess what? Not only will you may be able to double dip on the commission at the time, but you'll be able to um, essentially get another commission when they sell it. So, so real quick, let's look at the, the property here. I'm going to, I'm going to turn the camera around and we're going to leave the audio the way it is. Let's see. So we're going to look, I'm going to turn the camera around. Okay, so real quick, that's the property that they that they bought before. Now we're coming around to uh, this is the current property, and let's go to a wide angle. There we go. All right, so this is the current property, big property, big property. Tell me the square footage of this. So this is twenty four hundred square feet, and it's five bed, three bath. Okay, that that is humongous. So. We got this nice two-car garage, you know, uh, we got this other little structure that's back there. As an investor, I'd be like, hey, you know, turn that thing into an ADU and see what we can do. But guess what? We can leave a lot of that up to the homeowners to decide. Ain't that right? Yep, absolutely. Because the homeowners may not want to deal with any of that. You know, they may uh, want to be investors they may not want to be investors who knows so tell me a little bit about the outside did you change the siding did you do the roof like what what y'all did you do to the outside so pretty much everything we put a new roof on it um new siding uh most of the windows are new as well yeah i mean most of the house is new it was pretty extensive rehab and actually that um garage over there we even converted that as well because originally it was built as a garage but um somebody put a wall there instead so we had to remove the wall put the garage door there so that's a brand new garage door and and we converted it back so wow that's awesome so the the thing is is that somebody converted added an addition added another addition added another addition and come through here we'll find out from the inside when we go through the inside and see why that was actually a bad idea so but i mean this is it, it's immaculate now they do have a little little pool here on the outside but we're leaving that for the homeowners to the new homeowners to decide on what they want to do but look at this beautiful land out here in the middle of lake orion and we got a nice well we got a driveway that is a round turnaround driveway that they have nice access to so why don't we do this we're gonna head on the inside you know go up on this nice deck here and we're gonna go on the inside and uh, see you in just a minute All right, we're inside this beautiful home. We got, look at these nice ceilings. Look at these beautiful ceilings. These tray ceilings in here with Michael Hassel again and just checking this out. So why don't you tell me a little bit more um, about what all you did in here. Yeah. Um, I mean, just in this living room portion where we're standing, I mean, it looks like you did a lot. So. Yeah, yeah. So in here, all new drywall, like there, there really wasn't any drywall left on most of the first story here. Okay. Um, essentially what happened with um, this tray ceiling that you see, uh, we had to fix some structural issues with the house. So, um, you know, we put in some new LDLs and stuff like that um, and really just made it a better house. And not just what you see on the outside, because I think a lot of Sometimes flippers can be notorious for that, yeah. of like putting a mandate on yeah. things. You know, we wanted to make sure we really did it right. Yep. Um, and so we put in additional supports, um, even above and beyond uh, mm -hmm. what was required. And so what we ended up doing was this beautiful tray ceiling to kind of hide that, but also to like make it a feature. And then we added canned lighting throughout here. Okay. Um, and then, of course, new flooring paint, you know. Tips so look at this there. beautiful floor. I mean, it, it's great. Is this LVP? Or? Yeah, it's LVP. Okay, so this is LVP flooring. 
I very durable, very like I had I had LVP in my house to be honest. So I you know, but uh and it, it's very durable, like scratch resistant, scratch proof, stuff like that. It's wonderful. But it's also a good thing for investors to work with. Yeah. Because it's very I don't wanna say easy to put in, but it is easy to Yeah, put, it's easy to know. put in for sure. Yeah. yeah. So um, so from here, what we're, and I mean, and we'll go to some of the other rooms over here, but specifically in this room here, um, what was here before? And the reason why I'm asking this is because I you showed me one of the photos before. Yeah, yeah. And so why don't we so see that? Right here, um, on this stretch wall, there was two windows that we deleted, so then we had to frame that in and drywall it. Okay. Um, and it was it was a pretty big chunk of the wall. Oh, yeah. I think it was two windows. Yeah. So it's like it know, was half the wall space. Yeah, for sure. You know, and so, and only it wasn't like it was going outside. It was going into another addition that they put on. Yeah, it was been close. So to much, so it's like there's no point of having that. So might as well yeah. make it into a nice usable space where families can either put their TV. They can put their their portraits, their whatever they want on there. So yeah. leave it up to the homeowner to decide. So um, and kind of go from there. Now, one thing I'm noticing about here is is that you don't have it staged and like HGTV. They always have their staged and oh, you'll get more money out of it. So yeah. tell me your thought process on that. Yeah, I mean sometimes we do stage. Okay. Um, we have in the past for this one. We decided not to, in part because like we we had a pretty unique product that we were bringing to market. Yep. Where it's like, you know, we so when we bought this, it was originally six bed, two bath. Okay. And we converted it to five bed, three bath. Okay. So one of those bedrooms became a bathroom. Awesome. And so with that, it's like, you know, not everyone wants that. Yeah. Not everyone wants this much house on this much land in a prime location. I mean, crazy is me. Like, yeah. I, I can't imagine somebody wouldn't want this house. Right. But that's not what everyone's after. Yep. So we're looking for a particular buyer, and those people, mm -hmm. they're they're going to be looking for us anyway. Right. So, you know, they're not going to come in and say, oh, well, this has the five bedrooms I want, but it's not staged. Like, I just can't see it. Right. You know, so we we weren't as concerned about it with this house. Okay. Sure. So, like, basically the house kind of, they speak, the reason why a lot of people, and, and this is why people stage places, is, is because they may not, the, the homeowner may not be able to envision how the house will look with all your stuff in it. Or some of the stuff in it, or how you, how you section off the different areas, and with this house, it's it's kind of all self-explanatory. Okay, you got yeah. the kitchen over there, you got the living room, you got the bedrooms, and so it's very easy for a homeowner to be able to see themselves in here and not be able. To, like usually, when you stage, it's like okay, I got this big open space now. How do I break it up? You yeah. know. Yeah, and it's, there aren't really any awkward spaces in this right. house either. Like, this is a, it's a pretty good sized living room. It's pretty straightforward. There's a couple of different ways that you could furnish it and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But it's, you know, it's pretty easy to see. Yeah. The more, um, I guess, open the spaces yeah. or the more, you know, if there's like awkward spots in the house where, it, you know, you're like, what do I do with this space? Right. The more you have that stuff, the more you have to stage. Got it. Yeah, so, most definitely. I completely agree with that. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk around the house and we're going to, I'm going to follow him around while he shows us, shows us around and then go from there. So, okay. Uh, come on over here. So over here we get into dining room, kitchen area. Um, and over here, you, I mean, you can't really see any of it, but this is where we did like a lot of framing, a lot of the new structural support to just make sure this house was sturdy and will last many, many more years. Okay. Um, we put in a bunch of new windows, um, quartz countertops, stainless steel appliances, new, new cabinets, new everything. I mean, it's a, it's a whole new kitchen for sure. So. Okay. So, and with this kitchen here, um, a lot of people will be like, 
they see the, the gap up the top and they see why, well, why didn't you go all the way up? And why didn't you finish this off and, and do this? And I have an answer to that, but I'd, I'd like to hear from you why. Yeah, it, I mean, in part, some of these things is because a lot of homeowners want to decide for themselves. Like they, yep. you know, just for instance, a lot of people will, um, you know, talk about like, why do flippers always use like gray or, or whatever? Yep. Well, the reason is I think they say like, it's something like 80% of people that move into a house, the first thing they do is paint. Yep. And so, you know, like we're just looking for something um, kind of neutral where people can envision themselves in the house um, and provide something clean, updated, uh, nice, you know, with minimal work, but they can yeah. customize the, you know, some yep. of those last little finishes. Got so. it. Yeah. And honestly, you took the words right out of my mouth. I, I would have done the, a, you know, everybody's got to do their own finishing touches. You gotta leave some things to the homeowner because the homeowner will uh, want to do their own, put their yeah. own style on things. Absolutely. So yeah, most definitely 100% agree with you on that. Now we're looking a little bit out to the backyard. There's there's a little bit of a fence. We got a little bit of a deck here. Um, there's some remnants of the backyard, but. From what he told me, why don't you tell me a little bit about yeah, what so was back there? This was massive cleanup job. So both of these houses, we had extensive outside cleanup. Okay. Um, this we had we had quite a bit of work inside, but there was there was tons of stuff, okay. um, like multiple um, little sheds and dog houses and all sorts of stuff. Got it. So we had a lot of demo work to do. Um, you know, as far as just like scrapping out a lot of stuff on the exterior. So. Got it. Okay. So we're going to come around um, and this just leads out to the garage, right? Yep. That's okay. just a breezeway out to That's the just garage, a breezeway so. to the garage. So we don't really need to go into that. Um, but coming back this way. So this is just basement down here. And okay. originally, so uh, what happened was this wall wasn't here, we put this wall here okay. so that we could have the kitchen cabinets like wrap all the way around. So we gave a lot more counter space by Got it. by doing that to adjust the layout and things like that. So Okay, you, you made it flow a little bit better. Yeah, Okay. absolutely. Because otherwise, so if we didn't have it here, it would have been much smaller yep. um, amounts of cabinet space that was, or counter space that was broken up. Got it. And it, it really wouldn't be ideal for a, for a modern kitchen set. Yeah. So we do have a full basement here, right? Yep. Okay, full but you, you guys didn't do anything to no, it, really. No, it's, it's unfinished. It's Got it. Utilities so like we don't need to go down there, but at least we do have a full basement. Yep. Um, and then, so let's let's go over to the, the finished okay. areas here. We got one bedroom here. One of our bedrooms, and then um, it, you can see our, our updated bathroom, main floor bathroom. So this is a main I floor bathroom me. with a walk-in uh, shower here. Yep. So it's a it's considered a full bathroom. Yep. Okay. So all awesome. new. This all was new. this was a complete gut as all well right. on that bathroom. And then this is just a bedroom, right? Yep. Okay. So nothing too special on this. And then we're just gonna head on upstairs. Yep. And then as you come around this way, you can see um, we have a few large bedrooms with like really good lighting. Like yeah. this isn't even our master bedroom. This is this is huge. This is the size of a master bedroom. It truly yeah, is. Absolutely. I know I have on wide angles, just to let everybody know, but this is a massive bedroom as we're coming through yeah. here. You get the roof line, you get the scope of every where we're at and everything. So yeah, all right. absolutely. So as we head through the rest of the house, we have another large bedroom over here. Really all of the bedrooms are pretty large. Um, as you can see, all this was, you know, just paint and carpet, stuff like that. Okay. Um, we did put new windows in um, throughout, so. So another vantage point, another view. 
This yep. is still not the master bedroom. No, it's still a large not. bedroom. Um, and then we have another one of our bathrooms here. Um, this is a beautiful sort of bathroom. Thing. Yeah. So every you replace everything on here, the tile floor, yep. everything, right? Uh, yep. Everything. Okay. So all new. And actually, so what we did in here, this was originally um, the master bathroom. Okay. Because uh, the, the master bedroom is just on the other side of this, and there was two doorways. Okay. So we cut off this doorway, we rearranged some things, uh -huh. um, and so now this is just a regular, you know, additional bathroom, full bath. Um, and then you'll see over this way as we head into the master bedroom. Um, so the doorway was originally like right here in this area. Okay. Um, and we closed that off. Okay. Um, replaced windows, added can lighting, that sort of thing. And then this actually used to be uh, another bedroom. So okay. when I said it was six bed, two bath, mm -hmm. we went to five bed, three bath. Uh -huh. And this is the, the bedroom that we converted. Awesome. Um, so we made it a pretty sweet um, master bath. Uh-huh. Is in her vanity. Um, we have a tub, and then we also have a beautiful so, shower as well. So we got a tub and a walk-in shower next to each other. Yep. Able and to fit all that in, and then we got a walk-in closet here as well. Yep. So. Absolutely. Okay. This is immaculate. So. Yeah. Um, We're I like. Pretty pleased with how this turned out. Now. So. Did you have a designer come through here, or is it is do you guys use a lot of the same the the same material for your flips? Yeah, I mean we we do use a lot of the same material. Um, you know, we make tweaks each time. Okay. Like we don't we'll often do different sorts of tile or um, different fixtures and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, but yeah, we we tend to. Use within a few within a palette. I'll Got say it. within. We'll a palette. have like a a good handful of tile or or colors or things like that. Got it. Have, so okay, so that's that's really cool because you, you know somebody can walk into one of your flips and know it was done by you guys. Yep. Absolutely. So and they can know that it's done by good quality work. Yeah. So absolutely. Yeah. Everything we do is with licensed contractor and stuff like that. Got so. it. Okay. Awesome. So what we'll do is, uh, so we ended here in the master, in the master bathroom, and so we got the rest of the property here, and we're gonna head back downstairs and just kind of finish up. All right. So we just got done walking through this beautiful property, and we're now back downstairs. I honestly, I cannot get over how much of a great job you and your team did. Yeah, so we had some great guys. You know, real quick, I did want to ask you, how many flips are you doing per month, per year, I Yeah, whatever. I mean, so it kind of varies just okay. because we've had some extensive rehabs lately. Okay. Um, like the this one, we actually had really, three really extensive rehabs lately. Okay. Um, but generally we're acquiring like a couple of months. So. Okay, awesome. So for a couple of months, you need deals coming through. You yeah, need deal absolutely. flows. So even as a wholesaler, that's great. But sometimes I can't always get them so for you. So how can people get a hold of you if they have a deal in the area that, in the areas that you're looking yeah. at? What areas are you looking for? Yeah, yeah, that's a great question. So um, we're looking really all over Metro Detroit. Um, right now we're in Genesee, Oakland, Wayne, Livingston. We would also do Washington and Macomb. Right. Um, and yeah, we're, uh, so, sorry, what else? No, that's all right. And how, how can people get a hold oh, yeah, of you yeah, yeah. in order to, sorry, to show you their deals? Yeah, so you can reach out to me directly. Uh, you can personal message me on Facebook. Okay. Um, that's probably the best way. Um, you can also reach out to me by phone. Um, my number is 989-447-3176. Um, yeah, and you can reach out to me directly. And if you have somebody you know that's looking to sell a house, um, you know, we pay referral fees, uh, pretty generous referral fees if I do say so myself. Okay. And um, 
Yeah, yeah. If you're like, let's say you're a wholesaler or something, you have a deal, um, you know, I'm happy to work with you and just say like, hey, here's what I can pay on this. Mm -hmm. And you know, we can just go from there and make the deal work. Even if you're a new wholesaler, um, I'm happy to, to work with anyone. If you have a good deal, mm -hmm. um, you know, we can make it work. So. Most definitely. And the thing is, is in, and I stress this on my channel as much, the numbers have to work. Yeah. You know, you know, you're not coming in here trying to count other people's money. You have to get a certain number and yep. go from there. Um, and so I, I do stress that enough is that make sure the numbers work. Yeah. If they don't, there's always room for possible renegotiation. Yeah. Um, but keep in mind that a buyer like, like Mike here is only going to be able to pay so much. Okay. Yeah. So when he does do that, he gives you a number. Now you got to go back to the seller and work backwards. Yeah. Okay. So kind of go from there. Or, yeah. you know, even if you're like in that situation and you're like, you know, I don't know what to do here. Maybe it's your first time or, mm -hmm. or for whatever reason, you, you just don't know how to handle this. I'm happy to talk to a seller with you. Okay. Um, you know, do whatever it, whatever needs to happen to, to make the deal work. Um, and yeah, you know, a lot of times you can find ways to make it a win-win for everyone. Cause that's the yeah. kind of deals we're trying to do. Most definitely. So, so it's got to be a win-win for everybody across the board. So yep. that's, that's the good. only way we're here to help people get through these type of situations like you did yeah. with this house and the house next door where they just want to move on. Yeah. So that that's the great thing about this. And uh, so keep in mind, keep watching the channel uh, at Randy Steadwell and all you all platforms youtube instagram facebook all of that i uh, we're going to have more content coming out as well but i'm going to try doing more of these walk arounds with not only mike here but also other buyers as well there's not only you out there sorry <laughs> i mean i'm the only one right? yeah exactly i gotta give all my deals to you yeah so <laughs> But speaking with that, you know, if you do want to reach out to me, all my information, I'm also going to have his information, his contact information in the description below. Go ahead and contact both of us. We'll be happy to help you or help you or anybody else out uh, that is looking to get into real estate, get into this. I'll be happy to give my advice on what I think will happen. How I learn is by talking with my buyers and, and, and actually going through these properties, seeing what you've done, how much you put into it, and then what you're selling for, yeah. things like that. So um, with that being said, you know, let's all go ahead and do deals together and see you on the next video. Once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room